everybody, what's going on? It's Ransom and Dave, and this is the Vegas Dirts. And remember, if you are a member of the uh, rewards program, stay close, because sometime during this video, we'll give you a promo code worth a ton of points. Today, we saw an advanced screening of Bad Teacher, starring Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake, and Jason Segel. And yeah, the movie's called Bad Teacher, but is it a bad movie? We'll see. Here's what Vegas thought. All right, what did you think about the movie? It was really good, very entertaining, very funny. Yeah, uh, the, the pace was, was steady. You know, it, it's actually better than what I thought it was going to be. It's definitely a, a mix between Bridesmaids, the comedy of Bridesmaids, the uh, risque and vulgarness of Bridesmaids mixed with Easy A. And uh, I would recommend it to my friends. I think it's a hilarious show, had me laughing more than once. Uh, would you recommend this to your friends? Absolutely. Absolutely. Nah. Nah, don't listen to her. <laughs> I thought Cameron Diaz was going to be super annoying because I'm not a huge fan, but she was really funny and super disgusting. And Justin Timberlake was hilarious and cute. And it was a really good movie. Very unexpected. All right. For the most part, people uh, enjoyed this movie. There were a couple mixed reviews, but I'd say overall people enjoyed it. There were those two girls that one of them, I asked them, would you recommend this to your friends? And one of them was like, yeah. And the other one's like, eh. I don't know about that. Having Cameron Diaz in that movie, I don't think she's expired yet. You know what I'm saying? Her face is starting to look a little bit expired. Well, <laughs> I mean, she is at that age, but I mean, I've I've been, I guess, infatuated with her since I saw her in the mask. The car wash scene, everybody's Ooh. seen it in the previews, but man, is that girl in shape. Yes, and she definitely uh, didn't disappoint. The, the film, I would say, is very raunchy, very calling a spade a spade, if you will. They definitely don't hold back and it kind of starts from the beginning. You know, from the get-go, they paint Cameron Diaz's character to just be a bad person. Very superficial. Oh, very, very superficial. And that's how she pretty much carries throughout the entire film. She's very good at being a bitch. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Dialogue, if you will, definitely rated R for a reason. I'd have to say a, a standout actress, Lucy Punch. Yeah, she was in Dinner for Schmucks. That's right, that's right. And uh, she definitely brought the awkwardness and the, cr like you said, craziness into this movie as well. And the cat fight between her and Cameron all movie was very uh, intriguing. She's great. You know, she, she plays a very convincing psychopath. And... <laughs> I really hope that she doesn't, you know, kind of pigeonhole herself into exactly. only playing that scene in future movies because she's pretty funny and I would love to see her in, in other things. I would too. And plus another comedic role, Justin Timberlake, you know, I thought he was going to be more serious and comedic, but he's very cheesy and it's just, I enjoyed it. Here's where I'm going to have to disagree with you, uh -oh. uh, Dave. Uh-oh. I thought, and here's the thing, I love Justin Timberlake in SNL. He's probably my favorite host when it comes to SNL. Okay. But in this movie, he was just too dumb. It really didn't do anything for me. I thought it was long, it was drawn out, it just wasn't funny in a lot of scenes. The guy who really impressed me, Jason Siegel. Well, yes. I thought that every scene that Jason Siegel was in was the best scenes in the movie. But unfortunately, he doesn't have enough scenes and his scenes are just spaced out way too long. You know, like, it's such an interesting character he plays <laughs> and they really could have made this movie a lot funnier if they would have just made him a bigger part of this movie. Luckily for him, the Dallas Mavs won the NBA Finals, otherwise the whole <laughs> argument he was uh, having with the little kid about LeBron and everything, they would have had to re-edit that or something because if the Heat would have taken the finals, then it wouldn't have had the punch, I guess you could say, as it did when, uh, when it got to that part in the movie because the whole crowd in the theater pretty much... <laughs> was on his side as far as his point of view there, with LeBron. There were people cheering in the audience. I thought it was great. <laughs> Other than that, I mean, it wasn't a bad movie. Uh, I definitely recommend seeing it with a bunch of your friends. Definitely don't take your mom because I would not want to be sitting next to my mom when some of the things that they say in that movie, but that's why it's rated R. Go out with your buddies and uh, chums, your girlfriends, whatever, but just I, not a family film. Not a family film by any means. And I'm going to have to say that I would wait until this movie came out on DVD. The movie was only about 90 minutes long. It started at 7 o'clock tonight. We got out like around 8.30. It felt a lot longer for me. Don't get me wrong. There are some scenes that made me laugh out loud. There's a bathroom scene that is hilarious. But again, like the Jason Siegel scenes, they are just too spread out. And I'm going to have to say, if you're a camera Diaz fan, maybe you might want to go see this in the movie theaters. Otherwise, wait till it's on DVD.